Okay, so now we have all the parameters, uh, the constraints, and the reference uh, planes that we need. Uh, so the next step will be to create the geometry. Uh, so let's work with the large table. And the geometry that we're going to start with will be the top of the uh, table. So for that, we're going to go to create. And under the uh, forms panel, we're going to do a simple uh, extrusion. So it's solid extrusion. That's the first one. And this will take us into sketch mode. Right, so we're going to use a rectangle, right, it's easier than just creating four lines, and we're going to make it a little bit larger than uh, the intersection of these four uh, reference planes. So this is the reference plane for the left, the right, the top, and the bottom. And what we're going to do is use the align tool, shortcut AAL. And you're going to select the reference plane and then the side of the table. And then you're going to lock it. So whenever we change the dimensions, what's going to change is the reference plane. right? But since we lock the side, the, uh, the side of the table to the reference plane, then the side of the table would, uh, will move with the reference. Uh, so now we're going to select this reference plane, that edge of the table, lock it this side, lock it, and this, and lock it. So now we have the correct size for the large table. Is everyone good up to this point? Yes, all right. So all these should be locked to the respective uh, reference planes. Uh, so now that just determines the size of the table, uh, of the tabletop. We need to place it uh, in relationship to one of the reference planes. In this case, if we go to the front or any other elevation, it's going to be the reference plane for the top. See, right now it's being created at the bottom. So again, go back to reference level, click on set. This will set the work plane. And here's where I was telling you that you have to name your levels because you're going to get this drop down menu and you have to know which one you need to select. Uh, so the reference plane that we're going to use will be the top of the table. And click OK. All right, so now we have. Uh, the perimeter of the table, we have it set to the top of the table, so that's the correct dimension. Now we need to give it depth or thickness, right? So if we go back to this, we know that the total, uh, the total thickness is one inch, right? From the top to the bottom, including the bevel. Don't worry about the bevel for now. This is one inch. So if we go here, we have the extrusion start. So this is an extrusion, right? It's going up or down from uh, the top reference plane. So if it starts at zero, that means it starts at the plane. The end, that's going to be one inch. But since we're going from the level down, this is going to be negative one inch. So this is negative one. And now we'll get, uh, we'll click on the green check mark to finish the, uh, the geometry. And if we go to 3D view, this is what we get. If I go to one of the elevations, the top of it is correct. It's at the top of the table reference plane. And it's one inch thick. So that is correct. So now let's flex it to see if it actually moves with the reference planes. So let's go to reference level. We're going to go to 
family types and we're going to switch between the large and the small so if I go to the small one and click apply they should become smaller and it works so I can go back and forth between these two I can change the width and the depth if I want don't change it just go be, uh, between the small and the large and click apply if everything works then we're good to go on to the next step so I'm going to click OK here and I'm going to stop the video to pause the video to make sure that everyone is up to this point alright so now we have the correct uh, the correct thickness but we don't have this bevel right so that one is going to be half an inch and then it's going to go at an angle for one and one quarter of an inch so to do that we have to go into create again uh, but this time instead of doing an extrusion we're going to do a void form so the void form is going to be a shape that's actually going to subtract from any of these other five uh, forms so what you're going to do is create on void uh, click on void forms and you're going to get different uh, ways to create that void and what we're going to use is a void sweep so that means and you can see that on the preview we're going to draw a profile that goes around a path to create this bevel. So click on void forms, click on void sweep, and this is going to be a two step process. One is going to be to sketch the path that's going to be followed, and the other one is uh, to create the profile that's going to be swept along that uh, 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 path. So click on sketch path. And we're going to create a rectangle, and that rectangle is going to be the exact, uh, the exact same size as the, sh as the uh, top of the table. But we're going to create this a little bit larger so that we can do the same as we did with the table where we align all the sides to the reference planes. So as we move this, uh, the table top, we're going to be moving the, uh, this, uh, the void, so it's going to be cutting at the exact same uh, location every time. So we're going to select the reference plane and one of the sides, lock it, reference plane, lock it, reference, make sure you click on the reference plane, not on the side of the table, lock it, and lock it. So now we have the path that's going to be followed by the profile. So the next thing that we need to do is to add that profile, right? So to do that, if you notice, there's something here. It's another reference plane that comes with the void, uh, with the void shape. So what you're going to do is double click on that. Clicking on the wrong one. No. Go to view. Doesn't let me. All right. So on this one, I know why it's not letting me. It should go to the view. Uh, but we can only see this on two elevations, right? This is a vertical plane. So if we go to the front and the back, we're not going to see it because we're looking at it. Uh, from this direction right so we only see a vertical line so we need to go to either the left or the right so that we can see that plane so let's go to the left and that is the plane so that's the plane for uh, the profile that's going to be swept around um, that edge So what we need to do is go to our PDF and see the dimensions. So we're going to take away 
this triangle. Right, let me see if I can draw on it. No, it's not going to let me. I'm going to do snipping tool. So we're going to be removing that triangle, right? So we can create the bevel. So that triangle is going to be swept around the profile. And that's going to be removing that from every single side. So that is one inch. And it starts at, uh, sorry, that's half an inch. And then this is one and one quarter. So we're going to go back to Revit. And this time we're going to use just a line. So we're going to start here. Oops. It's not letting me. It's around that plane. What does it say? Can draw because work plane is at a very sharp angle in this view. Go to another view to redefine work plane. What do you mean sharp angle? It's an elevation. Uh, let's go to the right. See if it lets us do it. To another view. Should be the left or the right. I don't know why I'm getting this warning. Are you guys getting this warning? Huh? Yes? Uh, let's try to set the plane and see if this one pops up. Let's say pick a plane. It's not even letting me pick it. Uh, let me go to 3D views, see how it looks like. Oops, nothing. There we go. This is so weird. It's letting me do it in 3D, but not elevations. Okay, so we'll do what this computer wants us to do. So we're going to create it from here, and we're going to go down one inch. Oh, it's not going to let me go at that angle. All right. So let's go to the right on the 3D view. And it's not going to let me. Hmm. Just let me go to this one. Find referring views. See, we can only do it on the back, on the right, or the left. Uh, all right, let me pause the video. Actually, I'm going to stop it. It's almost 15 minutes.